Did you know striking the golf ball better is a dynamic skill? So hitting good shots, well struck iron shots, as much as people don't realize, it's a dynamic action. Meaning, think tennis, I'm playing tennis, it's dynamic. I'm gonna have techniques, grips, stances, shoulder turns, but I've gotta dynamically move to the ball and react. I've got to expect to be dynamic and have many different impacts. And golf's no different. It's very similar, meaning you're going to hit balls which are two degrees above your feet, five degrees below, 10 degrees below, five degrees above. They're going to be on uphill slopes on the same level, a combination of uphill slopes and side hill slopes. You're going to be in the rough, buried, top of the rough. It's dynamic. And one thing that really blew my head off when I did videos and I've done lots using one of my favorite teaching aids, the divot board here. By the way, if you want a divot board, I have a code just to give you the best price. If you don't want a divot board, this video isn't about divot board. Um, but it's a great tool for understanding low point. People say, yeah, but that's above your feet. That's not a good practice because why are you practicing with the ball not level? And if you use that logic and give it back to them, I always think it's interesting. So if you only practice from level, it has to be level for you to feel that you're practicing your strike, then you're practicing only 0.1% of the time of you hit a shot on a golf course. Because even on a golf tee, you know, where a prepared bit of ground, it's not level, is it? You've got the ball slightly teed up, or you've got it on really tight grass if you don't tee it up, or on slightly longer grass, or the tee, guess what, might not be spirit leveled, perfectly flat. And what those comments made me realize is just how dynamic golfers are at thinking about strike and how clinical they think they have to be. And that kind of clinical trying to be perfect with perfect lies, those kind of things, might actually be ruining your golf. So this drill's really simple and I want you to work it into your practice to try and get you understanding how dynamic you need to be to hit better shots when you play golf. And you can do this on a flat lie like I'm gonna do here, or you could go and do it on a practice ground where you do make it dynamic by changing the lie each time, but most of us don't have that option. You might be on a range and you wanna learn the skill. This is how you do it. And it's as simple as this. I'm gonna address this ball. I've got a medium iron, normal address stance, and I've got the club by the ball. Now what I'm gonna do is simply move the club inside. So I'm just inside the ball. I'm gonna try and hit it. So it wasn't the best strike in the world, but it was fine. So I'm gonna do the same, set up, move that club inside. And guess what? The second one is way better because my ability to be dynamic was called upon within one shot. I reacted. Now, if you do this drill and your reaction time is three shots, 10 shots, eight shots before you strike one, this is why the age old question of why I can hit good shots on the range and not on the course, it's this. It's because you're not actually practicing the skills you need. As people demonstrate with their simple comments about the divot board, which is an inch above my feet. That's ridiculous, that's too high. No, I put the ball on there and I just think, yeah, it's just slightly above my feet. Like many shots I'll have on a golf course that I would cast as just a decent lie. So, same thing, what you're gonna do is move the drill on rather than inside. This time I'm gonna move it outside. So I'm basically a club outside. Not bad, little bit heavy. Can I react to that? Same thing, outside. Second shot. So one shot, I'm reacting. And if I was more practiced, I feel I would be able to do that in no shots, just straight away. And guess what? During the winter, during times where you don't get to practice long because family or work or life just gets in the way and you haven't played or practiced for freaks, you go and play, these things fall off. They just fall off a cliff. This dynamic feel based instruction is what disappears over time where if you look at your tour players you're practicing you know every week three times a week maybe even four or five times a week if they make the cut they're playing four times practicing you know six days that week their fine tuning to reacting to strikes is like oh it's like minuscule it's so on fire where the average golfer who isn't that dynamic and then never practices dynamic striking they practice just perfect well really you're not practicing the skills you need to play and you can move this on i'm going to start now with the club inside and in front of the ball here we go i'm starting to warm up now and now i'm just going to float the club somewhere above the ball boom the truth is i don't mind where you put the club around the ball behind it in front of it above it outside inside 
It's that you are able to dynamically control how you de deliver that club and strike it. If you can't, then you're lacking in a skill that good players have, meaning a carbon copy, cut and paste me, another one of me here, the one who's more dynamic and practices being dynamic, is probably going to win over time. I think one of the biggest failings of golf coaching over the years, and lots to do with obviously the tech we use, but the more we use tech, what you start to learn is actually how messy and dynamic humans are and how we're not all in the same bin of we should be here, we should grip it like this, we should do this. There's many variations that are successful. But one thing that is constant is the players who are good at reacting to dynamic strikes. So the mat is wearing out a bit here in the middle from where the members come and use it. That's below my feet. I don't feel like that's a problem. This one's level with my feet. That's level with my feet. I could go and put the divot board down and now the, everything's above my feet, but it's not enough for it to cause me a problem because I'm able to dynamically move and strike. And it's something that I've practiced over the years. And I think good players take it for granted. They wouldn't articulate it out. It's something amateurs need to start doing almost in every session, if you want to get more out of the sessions and the limited time that you have. Now, if you want to learn how to strike your irons even better, this drill here is helping people deliver the right loft. And the results, well, they're shocking.